And Sullivan Apsher now rejoins us with his family here on CBS Sports HQ. And it is time. The stage is yours, Sullivan. Tell us where you're headed. All right. Uh, well, it's time, guys. So uh, we're going to be going to uh, University of Notre Dame. <laughs> Four-star offensive tackle Sullivan Absher announcing that he is headed to the University of Notre Dame here on CBS Sports HQ. Trying to fake us out there with a little bit of a Clemson grab first, but uh, then goes for the Fighting Irish. Uh, Sullivan, congratulations. What was it about the Fighting Irish that, that makes it the perfect fit for you? Uh, it was honestly the, uh, the safest option, for uh, lack of a better term. But uh, on the football side of things, you've got – one of the best coaching staffs in the country. You've got the tradition of Notre Dame football. And then on the other side, you've got the Notre Dame degree, which I believe holds a lot of weight. Obviously a guy who's done his homework when it comes to where he wants to go. Of course, you mentioned the Irish 11 and two last season under Brian Kelly. And now of course that new head coach in Marcus Freeman. So talking to the Irish fans, tell them, what do you bring to this team? Uh, I'll bring whatever they need me to. I'm, I'll be, I'll play left side, right side, guard, tackle, wherever I need to go. <laughs> well, that's good. A jack of all trades. Is there a player, uh, Sullivan, that you model or admire your play after? Um, well, I, it's tough being in the, the triple option offense, but I really like the way uh, Trent Williams plays. So when you look at now that the decision is made, how does that shift your focus now? Um, it's time to get to work. I mean, uh, recruiting other guys now. <laughs> Anybody in mind? Uh, Monroe Freeling, where you at? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Well, Sullivan, congratulations. All the best uh, with your team as you uh, move forward uh, in high school football there in uh, South Point, And, of course, as you get set to make the move to the Fighting Irish. Thank you. Sullivan Absher, the newest recruit for Notre Dame, the second offensive lineman recruit for the class of 2023 following a three-star commit from Sam Pendleton. He is the 11th four-star commit for the Irish and keeps them at the top of the recruiting rankings. Six foot seven, 290 pounds. Welcome to the Irish. Let's now welcome back Brian Doan for his thoughts on this addition to the squad. Why is Notre Dame a good fit for Absher and his playing style? Well, geez, because Harry Highstand, the offensive line coach, really does a good job developing. He's a big guy, and, and Harry's used to working with guys like that. And he talked about whether he can play guard or tackle. And I think that's one of the keys with Notre Dame and, and, and what Highstand does on the offensive line is he's going to find five guys that, that fit really well together. It doesn't matter what positions they had played in high school. But when I look at a guy like Sullivan Absher, like we mentioned before he announced, he bends well and he's physical. So he has those guard traits, you know, he, he can move and, and he's powerful in, in tight spaces, but he also has the length and, and his athleticism allows him to play on the edge if need be. Um, he, he just fits so many ways in what Notre Dame wants an offensive lineman these days. And this was a commit that kind of came down to the wire. I mean, we weren't even sure which one he was going to pick. Uh, he reached for Clemson, but then ends up with the Notre Dame a shirt on underneath and, of course, grabs the hat. As Marcus Freeman heads into his first season there with the Irish, a lot of pressure. I mean, this is Notre Dame, so there's always yes. pressure. What do you make of the recruits that he has so far in that class of 2023? I mean, they're fantastic. I mean, it, it, you look, they have the number one class in the nation. And it's not just because, you know, now they have, what, 13 commits, right? It's the quality of kids they're getting. You look at what they have on the defensive line in the class. It's tremendous. You know, he mentioned in terms of joining Sam Pendleton, who's another kid from North Carolina on the offensive line, who committed to Notre Dame, I think, right here on these airwaves a few weeks ago. He mentioned Monroe Freeling, who's an offensive lineman that Notre Dame is really after uh, from South Carolina. They're really in the mix for a lot of, you know, high level players. And, and I think what Marcus Freeman is doing, and I've mentioned this before, is he has embraced recruiting. He, he enjoys it. There's not, not every head coach enjoys recruiting and, and is good at it. And he's put together a fantastic staff that, you know, it's the staff's job to go out, make the contacts with these kids, and then you kind of bring them into the fold and they meet everybody. And, and Marcus Freeman, I think the most important thing you're seeing from him is his ability to close in recruiting. And listen, it, it, it doesn't matter how good of a coach you are. If you don't have the talent, 
they're not going to have much success. And so his ability to close in recruiting is is key for Notre Dame moving forward. You just never know how a coaching staff is going to kind of gel together, but you heard Absher talk about it there. He thinks they're one of the best coaching staffs in the country. Uh, certainly it looks that way when you look at the recruiting class and what they've been able to get, 11 four-stars uh, with the addition of Absher. So how soon do you see him being able to contribute on the field? Well, I think it'll come down to how quick he can pick up a you know technique, especially with pass protection and, and how comfortable he is there just what Notre Dame will still have in the program with what they can develop. But I think he's a kid that, for me, if you're an offensive lineman, there's only a handful in the country that can go in, play as true freshmen, and not get pushed around. Because, again, you're talking about 18-year-old kids going to play against 22-, 23-year-old men sometimes when they're coming straight out of high school. But I think it's realistic for him as a redshirt freshman to really factor into the equation. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.